Hey guys, it's Bobbin here. Welcome back to Enhanced Murders. As you guys can see, all these bits and pieces on the floor. We've just pulled this out from another Civic. And the block and the head was sent away for machining on this one. As you can see, and it was acid dipped as well, so it's pretty clean now. Here's our engine from the engine stand. And Chin's here now, so we'll let him do a little brief description of what's going to happen next. Hey guys, welcome back to Enas Murders, uh, episode 2 of the race car build. So, as you saw in the last video, we um, pretty much took this engine out of the Integra SIR, so now we've got our loud stand. You know the crane bearings are worn, but um, now we'll just pull everything apart and see what else it needs. And we said, but you get the whole lot done in one go instead of you know doing one pass. So we'll pull this apart and then see how much more things we need. And yeah, we'll see you shortly. Hey guys, so as you can see, we've pulled apart the head and everything that's attached to the block. And we'll be removing the remainder of the block tomorrow. As you can see here, the oil pickup's been damaged previously. The driver probably bottomed out, most likely speeding, and the water pump. It's really rusty. Probably explains why the engine overheated. But yeah, we'll be rebuilding this thing. It'll be back up and running shortly. Cheers. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be dismantling the block and taking the piston and the crank car and we'll be inspecting it. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Cool.
Yo yeah, guys, we're back again. So as you can see here, um, we've taken everything out of the block, um, taking the pistons and the crank and everything out. And we did find a couple of things wrong. Um, so down in the next room, uh, what we're going to be doing all that and what we found. Hey guys, so here we have the bearings, the crank and the pistons. And as you can see here, there's a bit of shavings from the bearings. So they're definitely worn. And we will also be cleaning the crank out tomorrow properly and inspecting it and seeing if it's reusable. If it hasn't been damaged too much by the bearings. Also we'll be pulling apart the head tomorrow and inspecting the valves for any damages. And also this will be sent for the surface grinding and acid dipping tomorrow morning. As well as the block. Yeah, cool. See you guys soon. See you, Chin. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Chin again. So as you can see on the floor, we've uh, taken all the bits and pieces out, out of the block. And the block is still on the engine stand here. Um, sometimes it's good to like lay everything out on the floor like this, um, just so you know exactly where it came from, so it's easy to put it back together. Um, as you can see, the head's actually missing, which we've kept on the table behind us. I will go there and just check it out. Let's have a look. This car just came in recently as well. Mazda MPS Turbo. There's some mass wheels on it. Let's see what Bowman's up to. Uh, hey guys. So today we'll be taking the head apart. Just taking out these heads up here. And we'll be removing the, the retainers and the valve springs and the valves. All these all the way around. And yeah. We'll update you guys once we take it out. See you guys soon. Welcome back guys. Uh, yeah, the car's gone. We got out of the way. Anyways, here's the head again um, that we showed you before. We've taken everything out. The head bolts, the valve retaining clips is in there. We've got the intake valve springs, the intake valves, and these are exhaust valve springs with the exhaust valves. So it's all in boxes. Um, safely put away um, it's good to be organized just when you're working on stuff like this so you don't lose it. it becomes a mess if you do lose it and you have to find it and spend a lot of time just hunting for it but um yeah so we'll be sending this away for acid dipping and machining with the block and it will come out pretty fresh just like the one we've got over here this one came in a couple of days ago as we showed you last time but um yeah it looks pretty clean and we're hoping to get um, our one pretty much similar the only difference is that this one's a Type R and the one we're sending away is a GSR one. So, yeah, we'll see you guys next time and show you what happens. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bavin here. And today we'll be taking apart the gearbox casing and we'll be sending away for acid dipping as well. And we'll be taking off the speedo sensor, the slave cylinder, and the reverse switch. And yeah, see you guys shortly. Cheers. Hey guys, welcome back. So as you guys can see, we've taken apart the gearbox. Remove the bearing that was inside there. And a couple of bearings that were in here. And here. And seals. And they're all down here. We'll be replacing the seals. And by the looks of the gearbox, what came out, these really mint gears here. They got no crunches or whatsoever. But there is a slight play over here, so we'll just be looking further into it and seeing if that needs replacing or not. Hey guys, so everything has been loaded in the car to be sent away to the machining and acid dipping shop. And also we've loaded the valves in here as well. They'll be getting a cut and grind. And it'll just yeah, help us increase the power of the engine. So yeah, we'll keep you guys updated and see you guys shortly.